Let's try this again. Yes, sound is working. <laughs> um, hey, everybody, welcome back. Excuse the mess. This is not sweat. This is wet hair. So um, just got out of the shower. Purr is right here. Show them your head. There you go. Just a little bit of your head. We are getting ready to watch some more um, Home Free. I'm a little behind. Um, as you guys know, that's par for the course for me. And so we're going to listen to Home Free's Forever and Ever Amen. I saw this and went, oh, Home Free would be really good at that one. And then I went, oh, because <laughs> that was asshole number one's favorite song. <laughs> But yes, asshole number one played Randy Travis's forever and ever amen all the time when we were together. And that was, we would, um, this is back in the college days. And so uh, we would call each other or not call each other, call the radio station and dedicate songs and all that kind of stuff. And that's one of the ones he'd dedicate and all that. So <laughs> I was kind of a little squeamish on starting this just because. I have that negative association with it. However, it is a beautiful song, and I think um, Home Free would do a beautiful job at it. So I'm anxious to hear it and see what they did. I, I guess that's all there's, there is to say. Kind of. I can't talk either. I'm tired. Um, and I got to work yet tonight. But let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what they did with it and go from there. Ooh, wasn't expecting that beat. <laughs> yeah, the original song is kind of a mellow song. So yeah, I was not expecting that beat. <laughs> Let me go back. I also double checked the title, make sure I had the right song. All right, here we go. Yep, it's the song I think it is. What is this little side thing? Ah, oh, they've added a scrolly bar when you go full screen now. <laughs> I, I haven't always had that. Uh, so back to the song. I forgot to say I was going to guess that either Tim or Ad, um, Adam Chance were going to lead. And um, because Randy Travis has kind of got a low tone to his voice himself. Uh, so I forgot to mention that. So it's not surprising to me that Tim's taking lead. And I wouldn't be surprised if they switch off. But the way that they're set up for the video, it looks like Tim's going to be lead the whole way through. Although I'm sure the guys are going to do a little bit more than the background beats um, and the, the harmony on the course. So um, Adam is doing an awesome job. Hi, buddy. I don't know if they can see you. They can't hear you. Your squeaker's not going. Do you want to listen to the boys with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Adam's keeping the beat, not putting a lot of fancy stuff in it, which it doesn't need. Um, but like I said, that the beat itself threw me off because it's an upbeat, which is different from what I remember. I'll have to listen to the original now and see if it's the uh, same beat in the background. I can hear the tune, 
that they're keeping. But you guys know what I'm talking about, I think. Maybe they are going to stay back around the whole time. So, yeah, it sounds like they are going to stay in the background. Uh, they still have room and time to uh, switch things up. And Randy Travis is a single singer, so um, it's not like he had to trade off parts with anybody. I, and the boys don't always trade off parts. So Tim may just sing lead the whole way through. Ever, amen. They say time takes its toll on a body. Makes the young girl's brown hair turn gray. Turn gray. But honey, I don't care. I ain't in love with your hair. And if it all fell out. Now, asshole number three likes the hair. He didn't like it when I cut my hair short. <laughs> so if it all fell out, I'm sure he really wouldn't like it. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not with him anymore. I'm sitting here thinking, I know they're getting here towards the end. I'm feeling so sorry for Adam because it's one of those beats where it's constant and the same beat the whole way through. And surely he's about ready to pass out by now. Um, although it's not as long. It's only a, a little less than a third uh, longer, um, less longer. Is that a word? <laughs> It's it's shorter than American Pie, but, you know, still for three and a half minutes or so, a little less, uh, doing that beat, that constant beat, it's got to be tiring. So kudos to Adam. Well done. I enjoyed it. Obviously, I liked the song itself uh, when I was with um, Asshole Number One. I even had the tape cassette for the longest time. <laughs> so I, I think it was the single. So uh, that song on one side, and I forget what song was on the other. But it, uh, I think I had that tape cassette for the longest time. I had to get rid of my tape cassettes. I couldn't even donate them. I asked the thrift store if I, if it was worth donating them, and they said, nope. <laughs> so I made sure I had all the songs and then took it to the dump.
So, ugh. at any rate, the boys did a wonderful job with it. I liked the upbeat. I'm curious, just out of curiosity. I wonder if the original had that upbeat. Is that Randy Travis? I can't tell. I think it is him. Oh, that's Randy Travis. Okay, it has a bit of an upbeat. I guess with the with the guitar, it doesn't have it doesn't sound quite as upbeat as the boys did. So, but it does have that upbeat. So that's good to know. I just thought of it more mellow, and there might be a more mellow version out there, and that's what I listen to more of. But who knows? Because you know, there's all, always different versions. A perfect example of that is Kelly Clarkson's um, Pieces of You. The American Idol version skyrocketed. And uh, it forced the music company, I believe, to release that version because of the fact that uh, somebody made the idiotic decision to make that a pop song. <laughs> <So> <laughs> but at any rate, I, I don't know why I thought it was more mellow. But... Thank you all for joining me on this one, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.